what's up y'all welcome to another episode as i was explaining before high desert the riot with the whites happened we went on lockdown for two years so they come and get us put us on a lie detector test part of the lie detector test was me and apparently others saying man no one's conspiring against the COs. No one can call that shot. No one, the blacks don't have a universal shot caller. And the police said, you know what? The, the confidential informant, they said that you guys would say that. I said, what? I said, yeah, they, they said that you guys would say that. So they came, rushed my cell. A few days later, took, took all of us to the hole. We in the hole, fighting this. Now, a week after being in the hole, they upgraded the charge from conspiracy to assault staff to conspiracy to unalive staff. I said, what? Got the paperwork under my door. Me and Fred Dog in the cell together. We said, oh, man, they not playing fair. According to them, we were planning by studying in our cells the anatomy and where to hit them at so that they would bleed out. According to them, we were gonna stage a fight on the yard, have two blacks fighting on the yard in the middle of the yard. And once the police converged on a fight from everywhere, we were gonna be strategically placed about the yard and then we're gonna rush them and attack them with weapons. Man, please. In the high desert, we know that you guys are gonna to shoot to unalive us. We get you guys in the middle of the yard and start attacking you guys with weapons, COs. Yeah, right. The, all the gun towers in high desert, they're going to gun us down. We know this. So they're not playing fair. Now in the hole, they put all your stuff, all your canteen, in brown paper bags. Why we can't have plastic? I don't know. They swear it down. We're going to make weapons out of the plastic. So they put our canteen and brown paper bags. People typically put butter on the outside of the paper bags to keep the stuff fresh, but it still goes stale in three or four days. So for the rest of the three or four weeks before the next canteen, you can only go to commissary once a month, you in there starving because your shit then went stale. Your stuff then went stale. And so we in the hole, we working out, we are peeling this thing they hitting our cells because they believe that we were really conspiring to unalive them. They believe this. I believe that they really believe this. I come to find out later how this came to be, that they believe this. But meanwhile, I had nothing to do with it. I promise you, I'm in my cell on lockdown for two years. I ain't bothering nobody. I haven't conspired with anybody. I have no reason to lie. This was in 2005, almost 19 years ago. I have no reason to lie. I don't know what the hell they talking about. But they wanted me off the yard as well. They swerving down that I had influence. And so we in the hole, and we starving, and we're upset, and we're trying to figure out how we're going to get out of this mess. Now, they give us like a 48-month shoe term for a conspiracy to unalive COs. Nine of us. Somehow Lowdown, he got out of it. Uh, they, they, sent him to, they sent him to a main line. He, he stayed in the hole, the whole, the, uh, uh, virtually the whole time we was there, but somehow he got out of having to go to the shoot. He just got lucky, he was fortunate. The other eight of us, no. They gave us 48 months shoe terms. CSR, it's the board that has to approve a shoe term. They denied it. They sent it back and said, no, we don't see where there was a conspiracy here to unalive COs between these nine people. Show us where the conspiracy happened. How? Where's the kite set? Where's the evidence that they were talking amongst each other, congregating? They've been on lockdown for two years. High Desert said, we don't give a damn what CSR said. We're going to find a way around it. Y'all are going to the shoe. And they were serious. We stayed in a hole for 17 months. 
in high desert. We stayed in a place called Z Unit. We call it the dungeon. It is the dungeon. They were built, they was building Z Unit in like 2004. And everybody in there was saying, man, before they finished building this damn Z Unit, I'm going to be out of high desert because it's horrible. They have cages and that's where we go to yard in the hole in high desert and cages like animals, like in straight small cages. We work out in there. We eat in there, everything in there. So everybody was trying to get out of there before they built this place. I wasn't one of the fortunate ones. And so I was in Z unit for 17 months, me and the other eight. At the CSR, denied the shoe, rejected it. High Desert found the way around it, found the loophole, and said, you guys are going to the shoe. And they warned me. They said, Mr. Porter, you're going to the shoe. And when they release you from the shoe, do not come back up here. I, I swear they told me that. They said, do not come back up here. And they told all of us the same thing because they really believe this allegation. Come to find out, supposedly, Stoney from A Trey Gangster, who I guess thought he was some big old shot caller, along with Sinbad from Gear Game, during this lockdown, Sinbad then went PC now. During this lockdown, they talking amongst each other outside the tier. In the cells outside the tier on a level four 180. They know better than this. And they're saying, man, when we come off lockdown, this going to happen, that's going to happen. They're comparing power to each other. I have more power than you. I got more power than you. They saying this out on a tier. And so the conspiracy allegation began to form. Conspiracy to attack the COs when these two guys are yelling out the tier during the lockdown. So Stony Selly gets upset or, or, or Stoney was trying to mark him out in the cell or something and so he went and told the police come to find out I, I got all the paperwork on this I, I, I did 38 months in the hole in the shoe over this I can speak on it he went and told the police that all of us was conspiring to unalive them over being upset about the lockdown for two years them letting the woods out that day without searching them, equipping them with weaponry, and then emboldening them to attack us. And so supposedly we're extremely upset about this. And as a consequence, we are conspiring to attack the police. So we did seven, 17 months in the hole. And then off to the shoe we went. Somehow they got around it. And the shoe is a whole nother life in and of itself. The belly of the beast, the belly of the beast. In fact, certain authorities want people who have been in the shoe to be recognized as torture victims. And they're on to something because the shoe it's torture. The 180 is horrible. The level four is horrible. A level one is horrible. Any part of incarceration is dehumanizing. But the shoe is dehumanization on steroids. It's to a whole nother level. You have to be extremely strong to do time in the shoe program and maintain your reputation and maintain your honor. And I went there and I went to Tehachapi Shoe. And from Tehachapi Shoe, I was transferred to Corcoran Shoe. Some of the dudes that was there with us or with me on this charge. Well, they went belly up. As I said, Sinbad's now in PC, thought he was a big old shot caller. He was acting like he was a big old shot caller all the time from Gear Gang, bro. These dudes, they, they, man, they, they, they fake, they weak. You got to be careful who you hang with on the street and in the penitentiary. 
And remember, this is the word of the day. I'll explain why I'm saying this later. That just because someone is related to you doesn't mean that they're your family. Likewise, just because someone is not related to you doesn't mean that they are not your family. I have a lot of people that I am related to, but I have very little family. And then you can make the argument, I certainly know people who have people that they are not related to, but they are family. In fact, they will unalive you faster over this person than they will an actually relative, an actual relative. And so Sinbad went belly up after being Mr. Tough Guy on the foyer. I mean, I roll from the main line. And once you go PC, you can never go back to the main line. It's over. It's a wrap. Yeah, you can never go back. Any race, you can never go back. So, I roll from the main line. He PC. He's not the only one. The shit went to hell over that case. Part two of the shoot program. I'm going to get to the shoot when we got to Tehachapi shoot and then Corcoran. A couple of unalivings happened there. It's everywhere in the California penal system. You can't avoid it. The only way you can avoid it is to avoid prison. Stay free, people. <laughs>